What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turning up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? Good happy Friday, you guys. It's Friday. It was Donut Friday. I had a donut. <laughs> we went to uh, Dream Deals. What did I buy? I bought more. Uh, 24. Actually, it was a 23 pack of cat food. I'm pretty sure the other can was probably somewhere in the bin. Um, but I didn't feel like searching and searching for it. So I'm like, sorry, I'll buy 23 cans of cat food for $6.00. Uh, I bought 14 makeups. They put another tote. They have these like Sterilite totes, like the big totes. And they have one just filled up with this tons of like lip gloss, I guess. And then they have one with like nail polishes. They have another one with like lipsticks. But they had another bin. My hair looks funny right here. Um, they had another bin that they had put like a bunch of Target makeup. I know it was Target because it had the clearance stickers on it from Target. Um, I'm pretty sure it's all in date. I mean, I didn't actually check, but I'm pretty, I mean, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Um, but there was so many different like products in there and different things. And so I just picked out like 14 different... One is an eyeshadow palette. It's by e.l.f., but it's a big one, big eyeshadow palette, and it looked like one of them. I thought one of them had, like, broken up and was all over, but it was just, like, a just a little piece of it. So I wiped it all down. Looks good as new. There's just one that has just a little bit of missing out of it, and that's it. So I'm, like, I'm fine with that. For 50 cents, yes. Um, we bought a couple like eyeliners and there was a, a eyebrow thing it's supposed to look like it's microbladed it has them like microbladed kind of tip so when you put it on it kind of looks like you have microblading even though it's not microblading that makes sense so i got one of those um all this stuff is like maybelline l'oreal um elf milani I'm trying to think of what else there was. Anyway. And then Sterling got a big box of 5x7 picture frames. And they're silver. And they look, I mean, I don't remember how many is in there. But there's a lot of them. Um, but it was pretty good for $6. So she's printing out pictures of like her favorite bands and putting them in there. I told her it'd be cool if she made like a little section of her wall and put them all, you know what I mean, on there. There might be 12 of them, maybe 12 picture frames. Maybe not. Yeah, there was a lot of them though, maybe 12. Um, and what else did we buy there? The cat food. Oh, I bought another doormat. I'm crazy, you guys. Actually, I bought two two things of rugs. I'm crazy about rugs. <laughs> My husband makes fun of me. Every time I go there, I'm buying rugs. But rugs are so expensive. So when I find them and they're $6, I'm like, yes, please. So it's one of those, like, bristly kind that you use at your doorstep. And this one says hello. And then on the other side, it says goodbye. So when you're walking out, it's like goodbye. So I replaced because the one I had was a red truck. And so I put the red truck on the back door. Nobody comes in the back door. But we go out there to feed animals and stuff, so I thought it would be a good idea to put that back there. And then I got more bath mats. I'm like, this is probably the sixth or seventh thing of bath mats I have bought from Dream Deals. So, um, the ones we were using were the ones I bought before the last ones. The last ones I bought were like this black and gray and white, but the fabric on them was not good i mean overall it was you know it was nice but um whenever anything gets on it it would like stick in the fibers so even if you vacuum it or wash it or shake it you can't get it out until you like actually physically pick it off it's like velcro 
So we didn't like those. I ended up, um, I think Sterling ended up using them for her rabbits and then they got thrown away. So, um, and then, so yeah, I just, I like to buy a lot of rugs for $6. And I guess that's all I bought. So yesterday I didn't work at all. No, didn't work. Um, I had planned it. I had worked it out. The only thing I had to do was two orders. And I was supposed to do them this morning. And I didn't do them. I'm going to do them right now though. And I have to make a couple ribbon trims. And um, I don't know what's on, what else is on my list. I'm going to look real quick. And I'll probably work until... My husband gets home and then we usually go out to eat on Friday nights. It's like just been our recent thing. Like for the past month we've probably done that. So I'm pretty sure we're probably going to go out to dinner tonight. I didn't plan anything for dinner but if I had to I could make potato soup. I think that was on my dinner menu. So if I don't, if we do go out then um if I cook tomorrow night, which is Saturday now or Sunday, I'll make potato soup one of those days. And then Mandy um, texted me a recipe the other day, and it looked really good. I'm going to try it. It's, I think it was an Instant Pot recipe, and so I'm going to try it. Speaking of that, she she texted me at 11.59. It's 2.59. She's so funny. Okay, anyway. So I'm going to get some work done. Why is my face all blurry? There we go. Maybe it's my eyesight. Oh, it was my eyesight. <laughs> I'm blind, you guys. I'm blind. And put the old eyelashes on again today. I couldn't resist. I wasn't going to. I wore some yesterday. It's like, you know. I told, I told my husband I had to look good. It was Papa's 85th birthday. I had, had to be looking good for that. But then this morning, I'm just like, I'm not going to wear no eyelashes today. And so I'm like, I'm just going to put on a little bit of foundation and maybe some blush and eyebrows because I look funny without eyebrows because my eyebrows are so thin. And like, I don't pluck, I don't like actually pluck my eyebrows. Like I might pluck like if I get some strays that are down here. But for the most part, my eyebrows just don't grow. So I don't know. My mom, she don't have no eyebrows. My aunt, she don't have no eyebrows. We, we don't have no eyebrows. Um, I guess it's from, I don't know, plucking them when we were younger. I don't know. I didn't really pluck my eyebrows much though. I only pluck, like I said, like when they grow down here. I don't know. I guess we weren't blessed with beautiful eyebrows. My sister has nice eyebrows. Autumn, Autumn's, Autumn, you've got nice eyebrows take care of them us eyebrow um deficient people are very jealous of you <sighs> i thought about getting microblading i can do that now before i thought about getting microblading done but that was when i was nursing journey when i just had her i was like there was a special like on the groupon or whatever and i was like it was like 70 dollars to get your eyebrows microbladed and I thought, hmm, I might try that. But then it turns out you couldn't do it if you were pregnant or nursing. Don't know why, but. So, and I also, I think it would be cool to get the eyelash, eyelash extensions. But my thing is like, how long does that take? My, my worry is like, it's going to take so long. And I'm going to have to lay there with my eyes shut. And that in somebody else, like doing something to me and not being able to open my eyes you know what I mean that's just I'm weird I don't I don't want to do that I mean I don't know I feel like I can't I'm I'm, I'm cost claustrophobic anyway so I think I don't know that's just not saying I wouldn't do it but if somebody was really fast maybe I could <laughs> ah! anyway I think it would just be cool just to have long lashes all the time all right let's get some work done oh we gotta make two room trims fun stuff you got on your shoe sterling oh 
it's a reflection of that light. It was green. I was like, wow, she painted something green on her boot. We're at the club. Hi, guys. So it's much, much later now. It is 12.46. I'm packaging up orders. Journey just woke up probably about an hour ago. Um, she fell asleep. We went out to dinner. We ended up going to the clock. That's like where we go almost every Friday night now, but I kind of thought we were going to go somewhere different, but my husband had to go to Lowe's. Um, I did end up picking up a couple of roosting poles. I want to add some extra roosting poles for the for the chickens since we had the babies that hatched out the four. And I want to get rid of the two white ones. The I say babies, the ones that hatched out in what? November? Is that when they hatched out? Um, so I want to get um, rid of the two white ones. I don't know why they turned out white. I don't know if it's just like a mixed breed type thing, like where they come out white. But the egg, you would think that the egg would have been fertilized by Jessica because she fertilizes everybody, Jessica. <laughs> I say she, he, I always refer to Jessica as a she because she started out as a she and then she turned into a he and so we just kept the name Jessica. We could have called her Jessie, but you know, that's just what you got used to saying she and Jessica. We know it's a boy, we know it's a rooster, but yeah, we don't want to confuse anybody. But <laughs> anyway, so um, There's other roosters that could have fertilized those eggs, you know what I mean? Like the Bantams. Like, I don't know if they would turn out, you know what I mean? Would they have... These are big. They, the chickens are big. They are... Right now, they're not even full grown. And they're probably as big as Jessica, which is the rooster. Squirt, the black rooster, he is bigger than Jessica. But Jessica is the head rooster, so... And Jessica has always been the head rooster. Um... But the two Bantam boys, um, I think we got three Bantam boys now. I think one of the, I think one of the the babies that hatched out might be a boy. I'm not really sure yet. I know one's definitely a hen because she is getting broody. I'm like, girlfriend, you haven't even laid your first egg. What's your? She was sitting on a bunch of big pile of eggs. And then when you uh, go to touch her, she'd go, um, get all that. Well, then she did get off them, so we took the eggs away. So she hasn't been sitting on any more since. And then Raven was getting broody. Um, she was sitting on a bunch of eggs. And so we uh, went to touch them, and she was, you know, trying to bite it. Not bite us, but you know what I mean, peck at us. Um... So, I'm just like, oh my goodness, y'all ain't going to be hatching out a bunch of chickens. If they do, I was like, if they do end up sitting on some eggs, I'm going to let them sit on Bantams, Bantam eggs. I know, um, I know pretty much the Bantams fertilize the Bantams. Now, I'm, I know sometimes they do get fertilized by another chicken. But, like the other Bantam eggs that hatched out were Bantams, you know what I mean? So, I would hatch some of those out, and then I would probably just figure out who, like, what I want to get rid of, you know what I mean? If I wanted to get rid of, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of, I love all the chickens, but like I told my husband, like, those, the new ones, like, I'm not, like, I don't have any attachment to them. To them two roosters i'm pretty sure they're roosters they like to fight each other and when my husband came home from work today he said that one of them was just pecking the crap out of my duck out of my little white duck and he's like your white not my little but my big white, white duck he said the the duck was just like <laughs> like stop so i'm like it probably thinks probably thought the duck was another white chicken and thought you know I don't know but 
they can go bye bye I don't mind that at all and yeah so I don't know what we're doing tomorrow just trying to finish up and package up these orders I was supposed to make two ribbon trims tonight I didn't make them I should just I don't know <laughs> like really wasn't in the mood but I did make them if we uh, don't do anything tomorrow evening I don't know if I'm gonna go live I got some stuff to give away um, I need to get that out and about um, I'm gonna be giving away some thread that a viewer had sent me and I have used some of the thread like she sent me a lot of thread I have used some of it but because I stick to my thread tree like the threads that I always buy you know what I mean um, I try to stick with that in the you know it's just easier for me you know so you're not always changing out threads or looking for oh what color did I use I know if it's a turquoise I use the turquoise that's on my machine if it's a pink I use the pink that's on my machine if it's a hot pink I use the hot pink that's on my machine you know what I mean so that way I'm not like having to memorize what colors go where and what and um so anyway long story short I have some thread I thought I had some more there but I don't um, that a viewer had sent me and she said if I couldn't use it to pass it on to someone else. So that's what I'm going to do because, you know, uh, it's just sitting here. I have used some of it. I've used, I've actually got some open down there. I used a brown and a, like a maroon and there's another one. A pink, I know I used one of the pinks. But there's quite a few left, so I'm just going to pass them on. And I was thinking of giving away some stabilizer. I've got a lot of stabilizer. I just have to figure out which ones I'm going to give away, which stabilizers I'm going to give away, because I have a lot of them, and I'm not really utilizing all of them or using them. I try to, you know, I stick with what I stick with. Um... I am going to give away um, some of those. Thank you for supporting my small business. It's not these ones. They're gold. Um, although I might have some of these ones to give away. I don't know. Um, and there was something else. I don't remember what it was. My battery light's flashing. Anyway, I better end the vlog. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.